in the previous message, I shared the idea of habit halos, meaning if there's something that you want to start doing or start doing again, a habit that you want to pick up and you have some resistance around it. If you look at your existing habits, like the established seasoned veteran habits and see why you're doing those things, what are the benefits that you're getting from those things? And you start to see how this new rookie habit or returning, it could be returning habit, see how that gets you the same benefits. It's like you shine the halo of the existing ones over to the new ones and you kind of clump it together. It's like the new habit gets to wear the costume of the existing habits and it doesn't seem as scary. It doesn't seem new. It's not going to rock the boat. It's not going to upset the apple cart. Choose your metaphor. But if you can use that existing habits halo, shine it on the new one and see how, oh, it's all the same. I'm already doing that. I'm already really good and telling yourself that's where I'm already really good at doing things that support this and create this outcome and benefit. So this is just one more of those things. This just gets me more of the same. That's the habit halo. But what I want to share in this message is actually about a buddy system for your habits. So tethering your habits together with time and also with each other. It's like training wheels. It's like a leash for a new puppy that you're training how to walk next to you. A lead with a horse. It's two kids in one t-shirt. <laughs> I don't know that that's an effective parenting strategy, but I'll never forget seeing when, when someone was like, when my kids are arguing, then we have one big t-shirt that they have to just, you know, sit in until they work it out. I haven't tried it and probably won't, but still it's the visual of like, we're clumping these two together. It's a buddy system. So if the habit halo is more about the visual and how you're seeing and perceiving the habit, you're using inspiration cooties from existing well-established habits to to rebrand basically the new one so that it doesn't like cause alarm and it makes it easier for you to just give it a go and start trying it. This episode is about the buddy system in terms of how you link it in time and space with your existing habits. So the halo is about how you're seeing it, the light in which you are seeing it, because you're like, oh, it kind of is the same. Podcast recording actually is for my physical health and energy. And my sense of well-being and integrity. Okay, yeah, it's not. I'm, it doesn't help me right now to think about it as a business activity. It is, but it doesn't help me to think about it that way because business hasn't been my primary focus, but my physical health has been. Okay, so you get it. So in this one, I just want to share buddy system and some examples of buddying up habits. So the the new with the rookie. It's like a big sister program, big brother program for your habits. So we're onboarding this new one. And we need someone to be the welcome wagon and show this new habit around the office. So one example of buddy system habits where you're literally pairing them together in time and space would be when I brush my teeth, I floss my teeth. Rather than flossing at a random time of day, I do that when I'm brushing my teeth. Although this is a sidebar and a squirrel, but like some people actually say you're supposed to floss before you brush. In either case, they go together or a mouthwash, mouth rinse, whatever it is. Like those items go together in my book. When I eat lunch, I have added in taking my supplements. I don't necessarily do that with breakfast because there's already so much going on when I'm prepping my kids and getting ready to take them to school. But when I eat lunch, I'm usually by myself at home. And so I have a little more time and space and capacity. And so that is when I take my supplements with my lunch that need to be taken with food. So that's a buddy system situation. It's like, hello, again, the rookie, the new habit is taking the supplements, but the established habit is eat lunch. I'm always going to do that. It is very rare for me to miss a meal, <laughs> so I'm going to eat lunch. Then I have paired that up, a big sister program, my lunch and my supplements. Sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work out that way, but most of the time, if I'm home, then I'm going to have my supplements during lunch. Okay. That's another example. Another example for me, I bought a red light mask around Black Friday deals, the Omnilux red light mask, and it has an auto timer for 10 minutes. But I also heard at some point about the idea of putting your legs up against the wall. Please check with your healthcare provider. It's not recommended for everyone, especially people with high blood pressure, blah, blah, blah. But putting your legs up on the wall, like with your booty up against the wall, is supposed to be good for all kinds of things. For stress, relief, cortisol, lymphatic drainage, taking stress off your pelvic floor. 
all kinds of things. Again, I am not in any way trying to pretend like I am fluent in medical la di da clearly, but I'm just sharing with you this as an example. It's 10 minutes with your legs at the wall, and I have this red light mask that has a 10 minute timer. So what I do is after I shower at night, I go into my closet, which is where I have a little rug, and then I leave my legs up against the wall while I have my red light mask. And that's a buddy system. That's a little time tether where I have linked those two things. I used to, when I first started doing my 15 minute workout, I'll do a whole nother episode about this 15 minute workout. Um, but I started linking that with my bedtime routine because I had a you know solid bedtime routine that once kids are asleep, that's when I would shower, brush my teeth and all the things. And I was like, okay, even if I don't have a morning routine or a midday anything, my bedtime routine of showering and brushing my teeth and flossing and stuff like that was my one thing on lock. So when I wanted to start adding in my 15 minute workout, it was at nighttime. That was part of my nighttime routine where I added in the 15 minutes of the workout. But then I added the red light and the legs at the wall. And I was like, okay, honey, it's getting too crowded in here. <laughs> so when I started doing a pelvic floor workout every day, which again, I will do a whole nother episode on the pelvic floor workouts and resources that have been helpful for me in, in that arena. I was like, oh, she talks to Dr. Bree. Oh, that's a spoiler alert. Dr. Bree, you can find her on YouTube and she has a 30 day challenge called Kegel Camp. Okay, that's just a, a spoiler of a preview of what's to come of a dedicated episode on that. But it's a 30 day challenge and there's like 10 minute videos. And so I started doing that at night and I was like, again, it is too crowded down here at nighttime. Like, I don't want to have this many things to do. I really need to be unwinding, not feeling like I'm about to start a part-time job once my kids go to sleep. So I started moving my pelvic floor workouts to the morning and I would attach that to right when I got home from carpool. So that was my time tether buddy system for that. It's like, okay, I'm taking the kids to school on weekdays. And then I'm coming home and I kind of tidy up and reset. And then I roll right into the pelvic floor workout. If you give a mouse a cookie, so then I would do the pelvic floor workout. Well, I might as well do my other 15 minute workout in the morning too. That was a game changer because then it's like, okay, I'm going to challenge myself to do all of that in the first hour from whenever I get home. Sometimes I do a curbside grocery pickup, which I also actually, now that I say it, I'll do a curbside grocery pickup right after I drop off my kids at school. And that's another way of linking the habit. So it's like, instead of doing a separate, just kind of in the evening or whenever, I created a habit of, if I need to get groceries, I'm going to order them curbside and I'm going to link that so that I can pick them up on the way home from dropping my kids off at school, bring them in. And then within my first hour, I do the little tidy up. Well, usually I'm listening to a podcast or a book or something, and then I'll do my pelvic floor workout and then my full body workout. And that has been working really well for me. So I'm sharing these examples in hopes that whatever the habits are that you're trying to create, this is helping you see, oh, I'm already doing this. You are, you are already doing it somehow, somewhere. So I'm hoping that me sharing these examples helps you give yourself credit for where you're already doing these things and seeing how effective they can be for you. So that when you're trying to orient and welcome this new rookie habit into your life and lifestyle, you're like, okay, we got you. We know how to help you feel welcome here and integrate you onto the team of habits. Okay, so that's the idea of the buddy system, time tethering, training wheels. I mean, you could also give yourself a timeline of like, I'm gonna do all these things by noon or 11, or like I said, for me with the T-tap workout is what it's called, my 15 minute workout. It's like, okay, well, just any time before I go to bed, and that worked for me at first. So that's fine. Like, there's no right way to do it. You have to just be honest with yourself. Hashtag on her term style. Is it working for you or not? It was working for me until it wasn't because I had other things that are actually more beneficial for me to do at night. Like the red light has to be with a clean face. So that's right after my shower. And then obviously the stress relief has the most benefit for me, like right before bedtime at the end of the day. So it's like, these actually are more important to be nighttime habits. And I see bigger benefit if I'm going to get like the endorphins from working out, why not stack that at the beginning of the day, you know, in the pelvic floor workout, it's like, you want to do that when you're feeling strong and fresh for the day. So it just made sense, but it's all an experiment, but it makes it so much easier when you do use the buddy system and link a couple of these habits. Okay. So we talked about the halo, seeing it as it's just the same, it's in disguise. It's a veteran in disguise, this new rookie habit. 
it's going to get you the benefits like it's already going to support the things that you care about and so when you see that it makes it less intimidating because you're like oh yeah i'm already doing this because of xyz benefit this also gets me xyz benefit and now you're seeing it that way and now you're timing it and pairing it with a more experienced habit because it's already automated. It just makes it like a little link. Like it's linking arms with your existing habits. It's gonna make it so much easier for you to do it if it has a buddy. All right, that's the buddy system. I'll be back with more. I hope this is helpful. Let me know, take a screenshot, hit the comment box and we'll keep the discussion going. All right, talk soon. Okay, technically that was the end of the episode, but since you're still here, one, I'd love to thank you for spending part of your day with me, and two, I'd love to ask you if you would take 30 seconds, maybe 60, to leave a rating and review in your podcast app before you tap out today. If you've already done that, it's amazing. Please send me a screenshot so I can thank you personally, and know that sharing this episode with a friend has the same magical powers, and I deeply appreciate both. Also, in case you're listening to the end to see if I ever actually introduce myself, hi! My name is Nikki Elledge Brown. I'm the host and author of Naptime Empires and this here on Her Terms podcast. You can find me around the internet at Nikki Elledge Brown in most places, but what you may appreciate most is actually over at onherterms.com. It's what I call the insider library. It's where you can get inside scoop, first listen rights, email updates every time there's a new episode, and then special insider only bonus content. It's all over in our private feed. Okay, that's a wrap for real. I'll meet you in the next episode.